Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this very special top 10 video of the year we're going to be looking at exactly that, my top 10 uh, figures that have just came out to be able to purchase this year. And I know you can see Guardian behind because he was number one in another top 10. He is not number one in this one, he's obviously in this top 10, but I just want to get out there straight away. Number one is a figure that I haven't featured in any of the other top 10s and there's about another five or six figures that we haven't seen in the others so far. So this one's been perhaps the toughest for all them reasons because this is covering every single toy line that um, basically has released official Transformers. I suppose I should get that in in the end. So this has got Studio Series, this has got uh, Mainline Generations, it's got some other figures as well. I don't want to give too much away because it might uh, give you an idea of what the figures are, but it's it's basically a culmination of everything. And as I keep saying, we've been totally spoiled this year. I'm going to, as ever, give a couple of little ones special mentions who near enough got into the top 10. Um, and I'm going to start off, to be honest, straight away with I'm going to do both of them because they're both the same, to be fair. Obviously, he finished really high up in the Generations one, and that's because it's just great. Really like it. Nothing more to say in it. Love the mould. Colour scheme is insane. You put this on any shelf, and it's going to stand out, and that's exactly what he does. And at the end of the day, he's Grimlock. So the other special mention, funnily enough, is that as well because the shattered glass version um it, I, I love shattered glass i've always said that i think shattered glass is spectacular i love the concept of it i know it's not an, an original transformers concept but i love the concept i love the ideas and i love the color scheme and again biased with this one because he's grimlock and because the mold's amazing so them two are special mentions another special mention is this guy reactivate bumblebee very new just come in obviously amazing figure if it hadn't have had the really annoying complicated perhaps just my uh, copy transformation process problem in the back he probably would have just scraped in but for that particular reason um, aesthetically he's great um i i mean again i don't always moan about things i'm not going to moan about it but i'm going to say he doesn't have a waist swivel but that didn't hamper my decision my decision was just there was a few better ones but he definitely needs a special mention because again great figure really good size deluxe figure um really robust and yeah just nice to see a new intake on bumblebee last special mention and oh, i really wanted to put him in the top 10 but this um i love the impact of mold this takes it to a whole different level this was completely unexpected um we talk about color schemes etc color scheme on this guy is phenomenal blast effect is on a different level his guns the detail i know they could have done the actual you know frankenstein uh figure that they built up in the g1 cartoon but for what they made instead this is a definite definite this will make do this is a brilliant brilliant figure because it's the impactor mold and he looks great granted he's probably not going to go with most people's display but we've already had draculus and let's be honest it looks like it's going to be a continuing trend so it's going to be a great collection i think when we get them all right then so moving on to number 10 so as i say all these are these are anything goes to be fair anything goes um and it's got to be straight in incredibly new straight in code red um not just for the figure this time though purely because of everything that this package comes with um the packaging itself is perhaps the best packaging i think i've ever seen i was really impressed uh with the um it just reminded me i was supposed to do the jurassic park nedry as the other special mention the fifth one so there we go i messed all that up so nedry nedry the jeep was the other special men mention um purely because a it's a jurassic park jeep and b it turns into dennis nedry that's the only negative thing i'm going to say about this particular figure because code red isn't really a character in um stranger things but, uh, but as far as the toys concerned the toys amazing the effects the blast effect, the accessories, transformation process and packaging, different level. Incredible. Really, really good. What a great figure. Uh, again, really, I've had so much fun with this guy recently, even though I've only had him for like a week. He's so, so good. So he definitely jumps in at number 10. Right. Number nine is a figure you have seen before. Um, and I had to keep him in the top 10 because of not just because of how high he placed in one of the other comp uh, compilations or countdown, should I say, just because it's a great figure. Um, it's it's a good leader class size figure. The transformation's clever. The detail on him is second to none. Right down there to all of the details and the imprints on the grill. Uh, the head sculpt, translucent orange on this really works. Um, and again, great character. Um, and they've done him some justice from the movie. So he is in at number nine. 
Right, number eight is one we've already seen as well. This is Origin Jazz, purely because for the reasons that I said in the other video, uh, this is just, again, never expected this. Um, it's weird, so I say didn't expect it, but we did obviously have the Origin Bumblebee the year before. It's just clever, it's clever, it works, it's nice, it's small, it's compact, um, and it's Jazz from Cybertron in, one of the in the first episode. So easy, easy, got to take his place inside the top 10. Right, number is it six, five, four, three, two? No, it's not. This is number nine, eight, ten, nine, eight. Seven. This is seven, isn't it? There you go. Shattered glass. I'm going to call him Rodimus Unicronus because I think it pretty much is. Um, that's what he was sort of called in the Power of the Primes toy line. Um, this is a spectacular figure as well. The mold is amazing. The transformation process is amazing. Um, again, it's that thing that we were talking about in one of the other things, something about a black deco and it just works on him that translucent red for the visor for the windscreen for the blast effects it's just beautiful and again when we when i saw him it was like an instant must have for me now i know you're probably going to leave a comment and say everything's an instant must have for you but this sometimes is true but you know you just see a figure and you're like i've got to have this one he was there for exactly that reason so great to see that um and the only negative is i think we only had a couple i think we only had grimlock and of course him and Sideswipe released Shattered Glass this year. So hopefully they continue doing them because I do really enjoy them. Right then, three, four, five, six, straight in at number six. And I mean straight in, out of nowhere, reactivate um, Optimus Prime. And purely because best Optimus Prime figure of the year, better than the studio series, better than the main line ones. Um, they haven't done um, Earthrise, I think, and obviously Kingdom was the last one, which ironically enough, I still don't own. Um, but this is <coughs> this is my Optimus Prime of the year, most definitely. Bigger than all the others, more robust than all the others. Great transformation process, great uh, set of accessories. Even though I have no idea, even whether you know they're telling us this is what he looks like in the game. I'm not bothered about the game. All I'm bothered about is that is a brilliant Optimus Prime figure. So he's got to go in and honestly guys it is such a shame in fact no he comes with i oh, know he comes with sound waves if he'd have come with bumblebee again much much easier to pick um i do think perhaps sound wave is the weakest uh but this is easily the strongest and a great great figure okay now we're into the top five and this is pink hot rod again keep using this phrase keep using this saying didn't expect to see this, didn't have any idea they were going to do things like this. In fact, now I'm saying this, was this? No, it must be this year because, um, yeah, it's got to be this year because, of course, it's in the Hasbro one as well. Yeah, definitely this, um, purely because, again, children grown, child grown up in the 80s. The pictures of Hot Rod in the catalogues were all this colour. They were the pink test piece. Um, of course, it's different there, you know, with this, the lack of stickers and stuff. But for me... Just again, never thought I'd see one of these in hand. Um, and then I own one. Okay, it's not the one I saw in the, you know, it's not a test piece, but it will more than make up for it. And for me, he has to go in that top five. Yes, he does. Right, a couple of figures you have seen before in other ones, uh, but that's because of course I've got to put them in because they were quite high in the others. Uh, so I'm going to gloss over these, not too fast in case you haven't seen the others. Number four is Ultra Magnus Studio Series 86. All the reasons I said in the other video, great figure, great transformation process, brilliant shelf presence, awesome, exactly that, you know, even though it's a big guy, fully articulate, loads of articulation on him, great scaling. Um, I know a lot of people thought he was a bit too wide, not for me, I think he's great, um, and I don't really want to dwell too much about him because it's exactly that, it's it's a great, great figure, and I'm sure he's going to be really high up on lots of people's um, top tens, so this is where... We're getting down to the top three. And as I say, two of them you do know. Two of them you do know. So that means when I show you this one, the number one you haven't seen yet. So this is number three. This was number one in my studio series top ten. Um, and that's because it's Snarl. He's a Dinobot. He's giant. He looks great. He's got a big sword. Um, my only pit nitpick was, again, I wanted the gold to sort of match uh, with the yellow. But otherwise... Great figure, great transformation process. Again, 100% shelf presence with the other ones. They're going to look amazing when we finally get to see Swoop. They're going to be amazing. But this guy is, yeah, absolutely stunning. So that, of course, does mean that number two 
he is Guardian. And I'm not going to pick him up because I'll knock everything off. He was number one in my first top ten of the year. Again, great figure. Love the episode. Love the mould. Um, colour scheme on him is great. I'm constantly arguing myself if I prefer that colour scheme or the original Omega Supreme. But I do think it's that. Um, and the, the, one of the main reasons, as I say, he's incredibly cheap in the UK at this minute. So um, he was number two. So I'm sure... I'm pretty sure that I've got most of you stumped as to what my number one is. Um, in fact, I'm going to just say, yeah, have it. And, oh, no. Once. Oh, no. It doesn't matter, actually. It's not one of them things. I'm going to stump you with it. And this is. Um, it is a normal figure. It has been released. I say a normal figure. It's been released normally this year, but it's not been released under Generations, under a studio series or under a shat glass or anything like that. Um, it's a Takara figure, so that might give you a big clue as to what it is. Um, but it was released worldwide. It wasn't, a, I suppose, Takara exclusive is it's a Japanese, but it was released worldwide. It's Skyfire. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but apart from... I haven't really done this guy enough justice. I did a review on him. I've still not done the transformation process. He is spectacular. Now, when I when we got the Siege version, I thought, you know, that's it. They're not going to be able to better it. They're not going to be able to better the Siege version, which, funnily enough, is... Is he grabbable? Yes, he's grabbable. So people who liked the Siege version, I loved the Siege version, and I thought this was as close as we're going to get to... Mine's still white as well, I'm quite lucky. Um, well, close as we're going to get to how he looked, and the fact he's called Skyfire. This one's called Jeff, uh, you know, to the cartoon version. Then all of a sudden, we get this. Not only is he bigger... Well, I thought he was white until he's next to him. Not only is he a lot bigger, like a lot bigger, um, he's got his proper name... And he's just like he's fell off the screen. And again, the main reason for this for me is growing up as a child in the 80s, our Jetfire, I'm going to call him Jetfire because that's what he was called when he was a toy, was obviously nothing like this. It was the Macross figure. The head sculpt didn't even resemble this. The figure didn't resemble this. It was obviously just a Valkyrie figure, which I'm not going to say, I'm, which obviously they sold as a Valkyrie figure as Jetfire. So um, this is just the most incredible version of Skyfire I've ever seen. Um, I've not seen the fans toys one, even though that's not going to be in this kind of countdown anyway, um, in hand. But all I can tell you is that when they put this up, because I'm always on eBay, the amount of fans toys Phoenixes that went up for sale is crazy. So, um, it's just one of the best figures I've ever seen, never mind of the year. So my number one figure of the year is Masterpiece Skyfire. Um, I'm sure that surprised a few of you. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. And I'm sorry it's not just a normal Generations one, but it did come out this year and it is easily my favourite figure. Way up there uh, of, of most recent times, to be honest. There he is. Let me know what you think, guys. Take care.